As if the people of Aleppo haven't suffered enough, now Syrian government forces have been accused of dropping chlorine bombs on civilians. The government has previously denied accusations it's gassed its own people. But in August, a UN-led report found both government and rebel forces had used chemical weapons. And a warning, this report contains some distressing images. Rescue workers moved in as dust from the attack still hung in the air. Residents reported a strong smell of chlorine. Up to 80 people, they say, had suffocated, though no one was killed. Dozens were rushed to hospital, struggling to breathe. Children were among those worst affected, their small lungs least able to withstand the poison. Without oxygen masks, many would die. Others were washed down with water to remove all trace of the lethal gas. He smells of chlorine. Everything smells of chlorine. Rebel groups say Syrian government helicopters dropped the chlorine in barrel bombs over the Sukari neighbourhood in Aleppo's rebel-held east. It's the third such attack in just over a month and coincides with a UN inquiry. We are also now investigating new allegations of chemical weapons use, uh, particularly pertaining to August incident. The Syrian government has repeatedly denied using chlorine gas and says rebel forces are just as guilty of using chemical weapons. The use of chlorine only adds to the worsening warfare in Aleppo. Fighting has escalated over the summer, with both sides desperate to control Syria's largest city. But weeks on, neither side has managed to claim victory. Anne Barker, ABC News.